Hey guys, let's talk about combining like terms. So if you're going to combine like terms, what that means is when we have a, a long math expression like these, we want to try and make it as simplified as possible, as condensed as possible. When we're combining like terms, you can only combine terms that have the same variable, the same variable. In that case, it needs to be like a 3x and a 2x. Those could combine together. A case that couldn't is if you had a 2x and a 3y. They both have variables, but they're different, so these could not be combined. Um, also with variables, we could get a little bit more complex, is when there's exponents added onto them, the exponents have to be the same as well. So a 2x squared and a 3x squared could go. As always, with combining like terms, if you have just regular old integers like negative 5 and 2, we could still combine stuff like that as well. So let's jump right into it. Uh, this first problem, I have 5x minus 7x. So I see this term has an x, that term has an x, they can be combined. If you're struggling a little bit with this, uh, here's how you combine them. So I would use a calculator and look at, well, I have 5 minus 7. And what do I get? I get negative 2. Now the thing you don't want to forget there is that x is still attached. So our next problem, 8x minus 4 minus 9x plus 3. So I want to look at, we're going to go slow and steady through this and combine like terms. So I have a term with an x here. I have a term with an x there. Let's just start with that and do 8 minus 9. Because this is a plain old positive 8. It's plain old minus 9. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. Don't forget the x. Okay. So I combine the 8x and then the minus 9x. I still haven't touched the minus 3, or sorry, the minus 4, or the plus 3. So I'm just going to rewrite those right below it. Now let's continue. Is there anything else I can combine there? Well, sure. I have a minus 4 plus 3. So slow and steady, we're going to do minus 4 plus 3, and that's negative 1. So those combine down to negative 1. I still have that negative 1x I didn't touch there. And then I look at these final two terms. This has an x. That doesn't. So they cannot be combined. So that's as far as we can get. Uh, another quick example of that. I have negative 3x uh, plus 7 minus 2x minus 4. I look for terms I can combine. And let's do it step by step. No need to rush. I have a negative 3x minus 2x. So I'd go to the calculator. Negative 3 minus 2. That is negative 5. Don't forget your x. Some people will drop that x and just write negative 5. That would be incorrect. Still haven't touched this plus 7. Still haven't touched this minus 4. Continuing on, I look to see what like terms do I have. I have two integers down here that can be combined. I see the 7 minus 4. So in case you don't know, 7 minus 4 is 3. And that's a positive 3. Let's put a plus in front of it. That minus 5x still didn't touch it right there. Box it up because we cannot combine these two. Reason being, this over here, this term has an x in it. This does not have an x in it. They will not combine because x, no x, they are not like terms. And then finally, our probably most complex example here is we get a little bit of parentheses going on here. We have 3, parentheses 2x minus 4, minus 2, parentheses x plus 3. Now what we're going to do here is whenever I see parentheses, I like to distribute. What I mean by distribute is we are multiplying. We're going to take this 3 and multiply it all the way through the parentheses. So we're going to take 3 times 2x, which is 6x, because 3 times 2 is 6. Still have that x hanging out. We take 3 times negative 4, which you could do that in a calculator if you need to, is negative 12. Continuing on in this process, we see another parentheses down here. So this negative 2 the negative comes with it, the minus comes with it, needs to be distributed through. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Now if you look, after we distribute, this problem just turned into like the previous two I kind of did. So slow and steady get you right through it. I see a 6x, I see a minus 2x, 6 minus 2 is 4x. Still have a minus 12, still have a minus 6. Slow and steady, minus 12, or a negative 12 minus 6. It's negative 18, still have that 4x. 
This has an X that does it, so can no longer combine any more terms. That is combining like terms. Again, what I suggest is go real slow through these. Slow and steady will get you through these. If you try and rush it and just go from the beginning to the final answer, that's where a lot of mistakes are made. Um, you actually are probably going to save time by going slow because you'll get it right the first time. Where if you rush through it, um, you're either going to have to spend more time going back and finding your mistake, or you just leave it and you just flat out get it wrong. So that was combining like terms.